The aviation industry is a crucial sector in today's globalized 21st century. The current global health crisis has had a significant impact on the air transportation system. A once thriving business is now on the brink of utter collapse. Debilitating, life-altering crisis. As the company is announcing that it will be furloughing, laying off 16,370 employees. Last year, travel restriction measures were implemented in various countries, impacting both domestic and international travel. On March 11, 2020, the United States banned non-US travelers who had been to China, Iran, and 26 member states of the European Union. Such restrictions are evidently seen in the severe plunge in arrivals into US immigration ports from March to April. Likewise in China, in February 2020, passenger figures plummet to the lowest numbers this century. The number of passengers carried for the month falls by more than 80% across the board. Such restrictions have put a huge strain on the airline industry. The International Aviation Transport Association tweeted on April 14, 2020, We have never seen a downturn this deep before. In our latest scenario, four-year passenger revenues plummet 55% compared to 2019, while traffic falls 48%. In other words, half our business disappears. That's catastrophic. In April, the IATA predicted a loss of revenue in North America to be minus 64 billion USD in comparison to 2019. On average, the airline industry has experienced a decrease in capacity of roughly 60 to 80% at major carriers. CEOs of major airlines are expressing deep concern over the future of the industry. I think that if this pandemic spreads further into the near future, that the recovery could be even beyond 2024. Emirates, one of the largest international airlines, have felt the impact of the crisis, with its CEO stating that they have never seen such a huge crisis in his lifetime. Dubai Airport, the major hub of Emirates, reported a 70% slump in traffic last year. Likewise, London Heathrow dropped about 73% in 2020, and Frankfurt Airport posted an astonishing 81% drop in passenger numbers in January 2021. Such economic impact is severely hampering the airlines. British Airways owner IAG reported a 1.3 billion euro loss in the third quarter as restrictions continue to depress travel, forcing it to further downgrade its capacity outlook for the rest of the year. Carriers in Africa and Latin America are at most risk of utter collapse within the next two years. The crisis has significantly hit airlines that have virtually no domestic travel. Qatar Pacific and Singapore Airlines both face an enormous challenge as travel restrictions around the world have severely hampered flying. Qatar Pacific reported a loss of 9.87 billion Hong Kong dollars for the first half of 2020 after registering a profit of 1.3 billion Hong Kong dollars a year ago. For the quarter that ended June 30, Singapore Airlines reported a net loss of 1.12 billion Singapore dollars, down from a net profit of 111 million Singapore dollars the previous year. The severe economic impact has caused airlines to reduce capacity and continually ask the government for emergency relief. As these reductions in capacity continue to grow and the post-stimulus employment requirements expire, the uncertain future of the airline workforce is clear. We have seen a number of airlines across America dramatically reduce their workforce. Last year, at one point, 50,000 people in America had lost their jobs indefinitely from the airline industry, until further notice. In December, US carriers began the complicated process of calling back 32,000 workers that they furloughed, a condition which struggling carriers needed to comply with to receive 15 billion in additional federal payroll support. So what is the overall impact on the airline industry workforce? In total, approximately 7% of the airline workforce will be displaced by these shocks. However, is the travel industry gone for good? As demand for air travel significantly diminishes, what is next for the struggling industry? One way to know is to compare previous life events 
which impacted the airline industry. This graph shows that both September 11 and the global economic crisis took years to recover to previous levels in the airline industry. Most notably, it took seven years to fully recover from the 2009 financial crisis. With the current crisis arguably causing a much larger impact than that of 2009, a full recovery in the airline industry may very well take upward of seven years to reach pre-crisis levels. While travelers are slowly beginning to return to airports, it remains clear that it will take several years before the airline sector returns to levels experienced before this crisis. Some 5.7 million travelers passed through checkpoints in the week ending October 10, 2020, the most since the pandemic scuttled air travel and halted tourism. However, that still represents a 60% decline from a year ago. Airline industry has been struck a devastating blow. Huge number of airline bankruptcies, thousands of layoffs and a dramatic fall in demand. So does the industry have a future? At the moment, airlines are all but trying to survive. However, as we keep moving on, a slow gradual recovery may be on the cards. However, people will travel again, although reaching previous levels will take several years, at least.